Let's get to our guest right now. He's ready to go. Gavin Lux of the Los Angeles Dodgers joining us on FT Live. Gavin, great to see you. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I, I like this what little getup we got here. Let's go. Fit. You got us, dude? Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, what's up, fellas? Oh, he's got us. What's up? What's up? Sorry, my, uh, my <laughs> service isn't great here. No, you're good, dude. Now you're good. Now you're Wait, clean. Are you at we're the ranch? In. We like the fit. We liked we liked the hoodie. Yeah, where are you at? Hey, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. No, I'm in uh, I'm in LA right now. Actually, I'm at dude. Dodgers. You gotta go full down. You gotta go all the way down at this point. There's no hey, reason. It is all the way down. It's a quarter it zip. Oh. You gotta show it off. It's a quarter <laughs> zip. Yeah, you got it. Better flaunt it. Right? I love it, bro. <laughs> so wait, are you in your locker right now? Yeah, literally sitting at my locker. Who else is there? Can we can we get like you know? There's no naked people behind you, is there? No. Is no, Shohei I'm there? I'm the only one right now. Trust me. Oh, uh, wait. Is Shohei there? Can you show us Shohei's locker? Ah, uh, he might be. I think he's actually downstairs in the weight room. Oh, can we? Well, you can walk with your phone, right? Walk all the way down there and just show <laughs> us what he looks lose, like. In I person? might lose service then. I don't know if you want to risk doing. That. <laughs> <laughs> Give us something though, Gavin. Have you said hi to him? Did you see him today? Give us something on him because everyone's yeah, just no, like dying yeah. to know anything. Shook his hand, um, met his translator as well. Uh, he's a big human being. I mean, I felt like <laughs> a little kid kind of standing next to him. So, uh, no, I'm looking forward to playing with him, though, dude. I mean, like like we all know, I mean, he's just – he's a unicorn. So, uh, it's going to be pretty special for sure, right? I mean – Hey, he's taller when he stands on his wallet, as Brett Boone used to always say, and people would call him short. <laughs> I'm going to need some like help in the height department, man. Yeah, well, if, yeah, if you sign one of those contracts, trust me, you'll be a lot taller. <laughs> hey, 700, that's a lot. That's a lot, that of, that's a lot. lot of dough there. What did you think? We, we spoke to Muncie. He's on the show all the time with us, and he said, you know, this past season, the team didn't talk that much about what it would look like if he does end up signing with them. You know, he's talking about like the group text and just the players when they're just chit chat. And he said the big topic about him was how much does a guy like this get? So when you saw the news, both for your team getting what the best free agent hitter for right now, and then pitcher later on, and then the money attached to it, what was your reaction? I mean, I guess you never like with a guy like that. I don't know like what the ceiling is. Uh, I thought like 550 to six somewhere in there but then obviously when I everyone was talking about the Blue Jays I was like oh man like you know I, I wanted to play with this guy but obviously then it ended up working out but I mean when I saw 700 I was like holy shit you know like <laughs> that's just that's that's crazy money and uh obviously super excited though that that he signed here and nowhere else I mean it's going to be like a like a party movie here every night now the rest of this the rest of this upcoming season I mean <laughs> You basically got a one through five. They're all superstars. So I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I think. Let me ask you a question. I want to talk about you a little bit. Um, this off this whole season, you were injured. You couldn't really do nothing but rehab. Let's ask you about like your mindset, where you're at. You setting your goals, or you what were you watching baseball? What was going through your mind? How were you feeling? I know you probably got a little anxiety, probably anxious to get back out there. You look bigger. You look stronger. It looked like you took it serious. Now, this was a big year for you now coming up. So how's your feeling? How are you feeling about everything right now? And how has this rehab process gone? Man, I mean, it's been long. I mean, I'm sure all of us have dealt with injuries at some point, right? So, I mean, that, you know, just having a whole year. I mean, I couldn't tell you the last time I didn't play baseball for a whole year. I mean, I was probably like three or four years old. So, I mean, just getting that taken away from you, I mean, uh, it kind of gives you a different perspective on everything, right? Like, uh I would have done anything to be in dead tired in September and then trying to play baseball. And, uh, but the rehab process was good. I mean, uh, no setbacks, like it's gone as good as possible. It's just, uh, it's been a long, long road and uh, we're nine months out. So basically doing everything, running, hitting, taking ground balls. Um, it's just uh, more of a mental block at this point, you know, just trying to get comfortable moving laterally and everything. And, uh, you know, that'll come with more reps. But uh, to, to this point, it's been about as good as it possibly can go, which, you know, thank God. Coming off the injury, what is it? You know, we talk about pitchers. Pitchers come off injuries and they're like, yeah, I'd love to throw 120 innings, 130 innings. Are you looking to play 162 games at shortstop if you can, break, if you can start on opening day? 
a hundred percent. I want to play every game. Like I don't want to use this as an excuse not to play. Um, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to, to prepare and, and, and for the upcoming season. And then even during the season, uh, you guys know you got to take care of your body and, and maintenance and all that. So I want to play every single game. I don't care. Lefty, righty. I mean, that's my goals to, is to play 160, 150, whatever it is, but as many games as possible. And, um, I'm going to be in Dave's year, so hopefully I can I can I can uh, pull that one off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gavin, uh, give us a stolen base number for this coming season, because the one thing I, I've watched you and, and sprint speed, I'm sure you've been told internally how freaking fast you are compared to almost anyone else in the league. You've been, I think I remember checking. I'm going off the top of my head here, but in the 90s something percentile. So now you got to not play this season but see how the stolen bases were upticked like 40%. And for guys that are fast, are you looking this year like, hey, I might suddenly become a 25-plus, 30-plus stolen base guy in the bigs? And also, you were supposed to lead off, I think, this coming this past season. That might change with Otani entering the fold, but you know what I'm getting to. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, I've mean, never really stolen a ton of bases uh, since I got called up in 2019. I, I ran more in the, in the minor leagues, but – uh, yeah, like you said, watching the, these games this past year, it seemed like guys were running crazy all over the place. So uh, I think to get like 15 to 20, especially coming off, you know, the injury, um, I think 15 to 20 would be great, especially at the bottom of the order and try to set the table for Mookie, Freddie, Shohei, Will, Muncy. Like, um, I think that's very valuable. So just to get on base and then, and then you know, try to create some havoc on, on there. So uh, I think 15, 20, 25, somewhere in there, I, I think is a, is a good goal for me. Every time, by the way, every time, Gavin, someone walks behind you, I'm like, wait, who is that? Is that, someone? Is that <laughs> <laughs> So, like, there's people walking behind you, I'm kind of like, wait, who is? Here, hey, like, he's getting his work in down there. He's not playing around. He's probably throwing around, like, 600 pounds on the deadlift. I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Go down there and join him when we're done. What's the – What's I, so I never had an injury like you had. I don't think that anybody on this show has ever – torn in the ACL like you did and had to sit out a whole year. Is there going to be a moment that you're going to have to get through as a player where you say, because every person you hear that does this injury has a moment where they're like, okay, I'm fine. Like it hits them. Right. So is there going to be something in spring training, whether it's running the bases, whether it's a backhand in the hole, whether it's rounding first, where you're going to say, all right, I'm healthy and I can trust this thing. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like doing uh at the physical therapy place I was going to there was a lot of NFL guys in there and and when they came back they were saying like you said like they would take a hit from the side and they'd get up and they'd be like oh my knee's fine like that's a really good point but um yeah I think like like you said sticking on my on my right leg in the backhand in six hole or going you know uh home to for or home to first to home sorry on a triple down the corner like I think just those things like that you know hitting the corner of the base and pushing off and knowing that it's just completely normal and completely fine, which we're like all the weight room stuff and everything we're doing right now is kind of reinforcing that. So I think that helps. But like you said, I think spring training, like hitting a triple and, and, and busting your ass out of the box, I think, you know, stuff like that will just kind of, you know, put some mental reassurance in there. Uh, let me ask you this. I heard um, you just follow Glass now and uh, Rosarino on Instagram. So, is there any inkling about uh, Glass now there? I mean, what, is there just, just because you wanted to follow him? You, do you know anything going on there? Can you say that again? Sorry, I cut out a little bit. No, I'm saying you just follow Glass now on uh, Instagram, we saw. I need to. I need what? to. I'm seeing all these rumors. <laughs> hey, yo, that guy's That's crazy. what I'm asking. What do you know, what's going on with that? Do I, do I need to recruit him? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. No, yeah, I haven't yet. But as, as soon as that deal goes official, I'm going to have to give him a follow. But. I don't know if that's true or not. I've seen people tweeting about it, but I don't know if it's real or not. There's been there's been some talks right now, so nothing in fruition yet. But it, there okay. seems like there's there's some talking going on. Yeah, there is. We had Rosenthal on earlier, who yeah, you know, there was a lot of fake news on Friday with Otani's whereabouts. Ken's one of the good ones, right? And was not yes. a part of that. Ken's basically the best insider in the sport, and he's the one who's reporting on it this morning. So yeah, it's it's not done as of when we talked to him like 20 minutes ago, but there are definitely conversations. So you might have a new super tall, super chill California teammate. Super good looking. Who, yeah, mm. super good looking yeah. and can pitch like a one. So we'll, we'll keep you posted, dude. Yeah, and if Ken drops the bomb, I feel like Ken's never wrong. So nope. if he's tweeting it, I feel like it's right. I don't know. You're right. 
Ken's been wrong <laughs> once and he talks about it like all the time <laughs> as once. And I'm like, dude, there's guys now that we're following that are like, you know, option B that are freaking wrong every week right now. So yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're down to just a few that are the ones that we trust. Right. AJ. Yeah. Totally. Hey, hey, Gavin, Gavin, when you're done with this interview, by the way, I know Shohei's there spending all, and he's got all that money. We can get you to get him some AirPods so you don't have to close talk the phone. Where you're like, hey, I, 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 it's, well, the, I can't. the volume, I, the volume is so quiet. I don't know why. Like every time you guys talk, I'm like putting it right up to my ear. And I, I do have AirPods, but they're dead. They're oh, dead. Oh, see, I to oh, so we got to charge them. Okay. <laughs> Shocker. Shohei's, Shocker. Shohei's uh, gonna look over there and he's gonna be like, uh, I need to buy that guy some AirPods. So it no, might it's, actually it's, work. It's, it's a smart move. Donate, Crash donate them to me. I'll, I'll take if it's free. It's for me, man. Yes. Absolutely. On your on your <laughs> roster? Absolutely. And if you want you're you're the guy that gets you should be getting all this stuff because you're still you're still you're the low man on the totem pole. But if you want glass now, if you want glass now to come to the Dodgers, all you need to do is finish your workout, go home, get under the covers, take that nap again and wake <laughs> up. As soon as you wake up, and, it, and it'll be there. Dude, I'm telling you, I was refreshing my Twitter feed so much, so much. And then literally I take like an hour nap after a workout and I woke up and it was just blowing up all over Twitter. And I got all my boys texting me, my family, like, like, what is going on? Is this true? Yeah. You know, you guys know how it goes. So <laughs> no, I mean, that was the best nap I think I've ever taken and woken up from. <laughs> were, were you worried that you guys weren't going to get him when you saw the news about Otani on Friday and the fake news about Toronto? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, everyone was talking about it. So, and a lot of like very reputable people talking about it. So, I mean, I just, I mean, I kind of just figured that's what was going to happen. But, I mean, I'm glad it didn't. Jesus, you know. <laughs> yeah, looking good. And now, right, they're working on the pitching aspect of things. Was it hard for you last year, you know, watching things play out and the Dodgers coming up short there in the postseason? Yeah, totally. I mean, you just kind of feel useless, right? Like you're just kind of watching from from the couch and, you know, you want to be out there with your boys and, and grinding it out and, and trying to see if you can make a difference. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was tough. It, it kind of sucked just sitting there watching and, you know, kind of bummed out. But uh, obviously, I think, um, you know, kind of shut it out and then, then move on to this year. But, yeah, I mean, last year was the most I've ever just kind of sat and, and watched and didn't have to play. And, and it was pretty damn boring. Hey, Gavin, speaking of boring, you grew up in Wisconsin. Are you a Green Bay fan? Bears fan. Oh, thank oh. you. Yes. Are you a Bear yeah. fan? Bear. Oh. Bear down. Let's go. Let's I go, you'd be baby. Green... I was going to talk so much shit to you and be like, the no. Bears are going to finish with a better record than the Packers this year? There's no way. Hey, Justin Fields looked great last week. Yes. Bear down. Thank you. Okay. I'm with That's you. It. No, I'm That's with all. you. I'm done now. I'm done. Bear. I'm done, Gavin. You can go now. Bear, bear down for the first time. For the first time in 20. Give us years. all the draft this picks. Is... Give us all the draft yes, picks. First pick, no. eighth pick, and them all. Come on, let's go. Yep. First hey. Time, yep. First time ever, the Bears can say they're better than the Packers, and look at them. They're still getting low draft picks. <laughs> first pick overall, for, not from a trade last year. Kratz, know your NFL. Let's go. Ever since, ever since AJ became a Bears fan, they haven't done anything. <laughs> Me too, though. To be fair, yeah, I was like Gavin. Okay. Even... Gavin probably wasn't even born when they won last time. So yeah. No, yeah, I wasn't even born. Yeah. He wasn't around for the Super Bowl shuffle. No, I, I was there for the Rex Grossman era and all that. Though. Come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, quick question. If we can go to a face shot of Gavin right now, I want to ask the boys on here real quick. Over your left shoulder. Too close, too close. We got to back it up a little bit. Over your left shoulder. Your left shoulder. There's a picture right there. Now, that's your right, isn't it? All right, then your other shoulder. What'd you say? On the yeah. wall behind on the wall behind you, there's a picture of a Disney character right there. Don't say who it oh. is. Can anybody you know tell what? me who I that is? I honestly don't even know who that is. But it's Kratz, close. You Green know who Big Dream. From a movie? Yes, Kratz, you know. I won't say it until someone else does. I don't Man, even know who that is. is. It looks like a koala bear. Come yeah, on. It Luxie, is. Come on, dog. From Sing. You guys gotta help me out Sing. on this one. Uh, That's yo. Freddy's though. That's Freddy's. Oh, that make that surprises me like none. Go ahead, Crassy. Tell him who, who is it. it. Oh, I don't. I don't know the name of it. Oh it's no, from that, it's from the it's from the movie Sing. That's Buster Moon. Yeah. With um, 
Who, who's the who's the main character? Oh my god! All is right, all like, right, all right. This has got to be like What's a newer Disney movie, right? This was yeah. A, I have no idea who that is, Gavin. Me neither, Gavin. I don't know okay. what you're talking about. All right, but yeah, McConaughey is the actor like, that plays him. Like everyone knows who this guy is except me, <laughs> Buster Moon. <laughs> who? Freddie? Freddie Freeman? He's pretty good. He's a first baseman. He's been in the league for a while. He's a three uh, on no, that team. You you should use that though at some point when Freddie's back. You know, in a few months in the in the clubhouse with you. Oh like, yeah, what? You big What's Buster Moon guy, Freddie? Yeah, tell him, tell him, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's probably like Charlie's favorite like movie or something. I'm sure that's why yeah. he's got it thrown up there. Yeah, exactly. It's a good icebreaker. Charlie's got yeah. his own locker here. Charlie's the Charlie's the truth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he he's been running it. He's been running it for a while. He is well known. He is he is more well known than unfortunately many other ball players in Major League Baseball. So. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Freddie, Freddie learned that from me, Gavin. Because when we played with the Braves together, my son had his own locker. So Freddie, Freddie stole that from me. My son had his own locker with a nameplate. And we travel. He had his own little bag he carried, and he'd have his own locker on the road. So I love Freddie, that. Freddie, Freddie can. Uh, Freddie took that from me. That bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gavin, keep I think doing Charlie's got a dude. better swing than me. Who? Charlie does. Charlie? Charlie's got a better swing than me. Dude, someone should lock up Charlie to a long-term contract extension, and he's going to get expensive. Defer it. Do it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This guy's right. like feeling ground balls, going on the run. He's like seven years old. I'm like, dude. Yeah, so many of you are right. Life turn, lifetime uh, extension deal right now. Exactly. With all the deferrals and all that, you can take a page out of Otani's <laughs> book. So, hey, Gavin, awesome having you on here for the first time, man. Really good to talk to you. Rooting for you. Can't wait to see you in spring training. Go go get after it on those 600-pound deadlifts with Otani. Tell him we said what's up, and uh, we'll talk to try. you soon, dude. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you guys. If I come back on, I'll have a, I'll have a pair of AirPods this time. I got you. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Done. <laughs> Deal. Dodge your AirPods. They're rich. They can do it for you. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> Appreciate you. Awesome. That was great. That was fun. And it's fun, too. I mean, I know sometimes it's tough during the season, but to get a little clubhouse action, because, yeah, I mean, it's loud and there's guys walking around, whatever, but then we get, you know, Todd Father picking up stuff from behind from behind uh, the shoulder there. That was good. A little Buster Moon action. That was uh, McConaughey. Buster. McConaughey does that guy on uh, Sing. By really the way, how, I'm a big Gavin Lux fan from an interview perspective. Me too. Obviously, it's a good player, yeah. but that, you know, by you, the way, you how, know what you're getting. How pimp would it have been if Otani would have walked by and he would have been like, "Hey, show, hey, yeah. come here for a second. That would have been talk about jackpot. 